Okay. Why would success this year mean so much to you and your teammates? Um, <laughs> I promise I won't cry. Um, I think, you know, we've been together for a few years, um, and it would just be really nice to have that success that everyone wants. Um, you know, we play footy, obviously, because we love it and we enjoy it, but everyone wants that premiership success. Um, and then obviously coming from Brisbane and watching them um, have that success just makes you, you want it even more. And I feel like the group I'm around at the moment, you know, we love each other. Um, we've got a really great connection. So, um, yeah, I would honestly, you know, it would be the best thing ever if, you know, I was to do it with um, the North Melbourne girls this year. That would be amazing. Um, when you have harder moments of why do I bother, why do I do this? What is it you come back to that drives you to go on? Um, this is probably personally really hard. Um, obviously, the, sorry, the last oh, few years was a really hard time for me. Um, and I probably had like off field, not on field, off field. And I probably had a lot of, why do I bother? Um, sometimes it's just hard to get up the next day. But I think I got to a point where, you know, I'm not doing it for myself, I'm doing it for everyone around me. Um, especially my family, so massive family person. Um, and it's the reason why I play footy as well. Uh, I just, I want to make them proud um, of who I am and, and what I'm doing and to, to make sure that, you know, that they know it's, um, it's for them. Um, when have you felt most vulnerable? How did you tackle it? I think moving to Brisbane for me was probably that moment um, growing up, I was very shy. Um, I didn't really do too much out of my comfort zone and I just felt moving to Brisbane would be really good for me personally. Um, and honestly, that was the best thing I've ever done. I think just jumping straight in, getting it done, um, meeting new people, which I hate going to things on my own. Um, I have to go with someone, I have to have like a comfort blanket. So I think I felt the most vulnerable then. Um, and yeah, being so far away from my family, because uh, I'm a big family person, so that was really hard as well. Um, yeah, so I think having the support of everyone at the club, uh, my family, um, that's probably the most, I, I hate talking on the phone. And I think when I was in Brisbane was, the time where I kind of grew into liking that because I had to, um, to talk to my family back home and friends. So yeah, probably that moment. How has life been enriched by discovering more about your Indigenous heritage? I, there is still so much that I have to learn and I can't believe how much that I didn't know. I think, you know, growing up, <laughs> you hear things, but being actually inside the four walls has just been incredible. I think having um, close family friends, so mum's family friend is a proud Indigenous woman and she pushed me down the pathway to do this and I have never looked back. I honestly think that she's been incredible for me um, and our family. Um, yeah, so dad's side was very private. Um, and I just didn't know really where to go. Uh, but having this platform um, and being in this environment um, with the AFLW, there are so many people that want to help you. And I think North Melbourne have done an exceptional job to help me find, um, or help me down that path of finding out more about me 
um, and just the culture. It's such a rich culture um, and the history around it. And then coming into Indigenous round, there was just so many incredible things. It's so hard to squeeze into like a week. Um, but even the AFL players, like everyone's helped out. The boys at the club, the Indigenous boys at the club. Um, and then obviously having two other girls as well. They've, yeah, it's just honestly the best thing ever. And um, we had Phil Cracker come down to our training before Indigenous round and oh, just hearing him speak. He's so passionate about everything. Um, you just want to hug him. Like he's honestly the best, best guy ever. And then, you know, watching him play the didgeridoo, he, uh, Mia King and I were just bawling our eyes out. It was just the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Um, and then also listening to, to um, him speak about growing up um, and how he felt. It's just, oh, I just have so much to learn and I'm just really looking forward to it. Um, yeah, I just think it's it's incredible. It's an, a, a journey that I, I'm excited to be on. Um, and yeah, like I said, what I've learned so far, honestly, and I've got so much to do. So I'm really looking forward to Indigenous Round. Um, even just the welcome to country, I think that's just such a special moment. And I'm really looking forward to taking it all in and, and doing it for all the young girls coming through, making them proud of where we've come and, and where we're going. What is your greatest fear? I think, I'm gonna have to try and do this without crying. I think my greatest fear is falling back to where I was a few years ago. Um, I was probably at my lowest point and I felt like I had no one. And I didn't realise that I was there until a few of my teammates were talking about it. I, um, kind of saying that I wasn't myself, so I'm a bubbly person and I was just flat all the time. And I didn't realise until, you know, they started talking and asking me that question. Um, and yeah, I got to a pretty low point um, and then COVID hit. So being in all those lockdowns was just so hard. Um, and even playing footy probably wasn't something that was making me super happy either. Um, but I've come a long way to get to where I am now through the help of everyone around me. Because um, your mind is a really powerful thing and you don't realise until you're in that situation. Um, and I honestly felt like I was never going to get out. So... I just hope I don't go down that path again, which I know I won't because the support of everyone around me, my family, like my mum has just been incredible and she probably doesn't even know it. Um, yeah. Which person has had the greatest impact on your life? It's hard because I've had a few people that have had such an impact on my life. Um, I think I'm going to say my brother, which <laughs> we fought like cat and dog growing up. Um, we're seven years apart, but I think when we got older and he had his two little, two little boys and he's got a, a little girl as well, um, I've just always looked up to him. Um, I've just loved the way he's gone about it. We've come so far. Uh, we're super close. He's a passionate North Melbourne supporter, which was also one of the reasons why I chose North Melbourne. Um, but he's just, 
He helps me without even knowing it. Um, you know, he, he's a police officer now, so I've watched him go through all that process. Um, and just the determination that I, you know, that he has and the impact that he has on me, which, like I said, he doesn't even know it. Um, we joke around with one another, but he is honestly one of the greatest people in my life. And if he doesn't message me before a game, I get really angry <laughs> and upset. Um, but he's probably had the most impact on my life and I've, I feel comfortable going to him with any situation that I've got, which, you know, a few years ago, he he said to me, you want to go for a coffee? And we just sat down and had, had a chat about everything. And I think that was the, the moment in my life where, um, probably the turning point where I just think, yeah, I love him so much. And he would never say that to me. He gets so, I know he thinks it, but he'd never say it. Who or what inspires you? Uh, if I didn't play AFLW, I don't know what my answer would be. But playing AFLW, you know, I play alongside some really incredible women. Um, you know, their day jobs are incredible and then they come to training at night time. They get it done three hours of training, recovery, they, got to, they have to go home, they sleep for minimal hours and they get up and they do it all again. And then we come to games on the weekend, we're travelling. I just find the girls that, yeah, they can do that and they don't complain. There's not one girl that complains about what they're doing because they love it. They love playing footy, they love working, they love supporting their family. And then you've got the women that have families. Like, it's incredible to feel, like to be around women like that. Like that's normal for them. So yeah, that's. I feel incredible, incredibly lucky to be around the people I am.